All right, we're doing another reaction video right here from the Sea Champagne Radio Show. We love to do reaction videos. We do not discriminate. We do honest reactions. We're so glad you have taken the time to join us for this particular video. Hey, what's happening? What's going on, guys? Yes, uh, Swedish House Mafia, their last song I thought was extremely good for a comeback record because I haven't heard from these guys in forever. And now they got a new one out called Ball to a Flame, trending everywhere. It was released yesterday when I, uh, I don't know when this video will post because of copyright issues. But it, nevertheless, hey, it was trending. I, you know, um, I do all trending songs because that's what we do. Honest reactions. Not only we react to the song, but we rate the song as well at the end. Talk a little bit about Swedish House Mafia, and uh, we would love for you to be a part of that. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button down there to keep these kind of channels alive. If you like watching people do uh, reaction videos, I know me and other reactors would really, really appreciate it. Let's just dive right into this thing, and I'll hit the button, and away we go to reaction land.
Okay, then. Uh, all right. Malt to a Flame, Swedish House Mafia. Uh, right here from the Sea Champagne Radio Show. All right, I told you we're going to rate the song, which we're going to do now. Five and a half stars is the greatest song of all time. Five stars is an A, four is a B, three is a C, two is a D, one's an F, zero stars. Why did you even bother to record it? Now, for those people that want to rate the song with me and have the courage of your convictions, we would love for you to comment in the comment section down there. Tell me if you think I'm right. Tell me if you think I'm wrong. Actually, we do a live show every several weeks where we have a segment called where Steve was right and where Steve was wrong. You know, all the things that we talk about. And when I blow it, uh, actually it's called where I knew it and where I blew it. That's the segment. And, uh, when I'm man, when I'm wrong, I man up, I man up. And here's what I have to say about this. Um, the weekend, I didn't even know he was on the song until, you know, cause until I heard the first vocal and then I was like, Oh, that's the weekend. Because when they sent it to me, it just said Sweetest House Mafia Malt to a Flame. So I had no idea that he was even on it. Because I don't do, you know, I do honest reactions here. You know, I kind of like surprises and things like that. So um, it was a surprise to me. And I will tell you that uh, out of all the songs that The Weeknd has released over the last several, you know, I guess months, well, a, a year or so, you know, between Blinding Light, Save Your Tears, you know, all that stuff. I think this is the best vocal that he's done. Uh, I like Blinding Lights and the other songs, but as far as vocal is concerned, I think this particular vocal, it really showed how talented he is in, a, you know, how smooth his voice is. I enjoyed the song. I don't think, though, this song is going to be as popular as the weekend songs where he's the feature artist. I don't think it's going to be that popular. I think it has a chance. I don't know. I mean, this is my first time hearing a song. You know, when you hear a song for the first time, sometimes it's not your favorite song. You got to listen to it. You know, you hear it a bunch of times and you go, man, yeah, I really like that song. So it hasn't grown on me when first listen, which is right now. So um, I'm going to rate it um, 3.75, a B minus, because I don't think it's up to the B's or B pluses or A's that The Weeknd has put out. I did like the other Swedish House Mafia song better than this one, um, even though this one wasn't bad. And, you know, you can't rate everything five stars, although some people are prisoners of the moment. I had a few people in the comments barbecue me over one of the weekend songs where I said, Bruno's got him because Bruno Mars is killing it. But, you know, right now he's not. Uh, you know, a lot of people said Bruno was not going to do what the weekend has done. Uh, in 2020 and 21, and, and and of course, Bruno's about to drop his record here soon. We'll find out what 22 brings, but I got a funny feeling Mr. Bruno Mars isn't done yet, but that's okay. I like The weekend too. I really like his older stuff the best, um, you know, and, and that's true for a lot of artists. When they first come out, they're hungry. They have, you know, and then once they get really popular, it's all this, you know, I'm on this record, I'm on this record, I'm on this record. And the artists need to do that, but that's a topic for another day. What did you rate the song? I want to know. I read every single comment. I do, because at night, you know, when I'm going to bed or whatever, I'm just kind of chilling in the bed. I don't read comments until I go to bed, and then I just start scrolling through them. And I read it like a book, and I love reading it because you guys educate me, teach me a lot, give me a different opinion sometimes because I look at your what you have to say, and I go, yeah, yeah, maybe they got a point there. You know, because, I mean, I'm a listener. I've all, I was taught very young, listen and learn. So I have an opinion, obviously, but uh, you do too. And maybe you can educate me in something I don't know anything about. Swedish House Mafia, Moth to a Flame. What can I say about this except for, hey, the video's over now. What can I say? <laughs> we encourage you to like and subscribe to hear more What's Hot and reaction videos from the Steve Champagne Radio Show. Join our internet musical global family of friends. Until next time.